Chapter 2 The Giant In those days, there was a giant who lived on one of the many islands in the Philippines. Deep under the ground on his island were large beds of salt. The giant liked salt. He mined the salt and stored it inside a huge cave in the hills. Great piles of salt rose up to the roof like mountain peaks and filled the cave. Luckily for the people, the giant was kind and generous. He happily shared his salt. Help yourself to as much as you need, he would say when they asked for salt. The people were thankful that the giant let them get salt from his cave. To show they were grateful for his kindness, they always brought him gifts of food. The giant looked forward to the people coming with food. He ate a lot and got tired of cooking his own meals. He enjoyed the different foods they prepared for him, especially the sauce made with boiled rice and prawns. His favorites, though, were the many kinds of fish the people salted and dried in the sun. The people were good at salting fish. They used just the right amount of salt, but it was not easy to get the salt from the giant's cave. First, the people traveled by boat to his island. Then they walked along a very steep path through the jungle to get to the cave. Vines and twisted tree roots grew across the path and were like cleverly set traps. If the people were not careful, they tripped and fell. When they got to the giant's cave and stepped inside, there was just enough light for them to see the great piles of salt. They would crouch down and use their bare hands to scoop salt into the bamboo baskets they brought with them. The smell of the salt was so strong that it was hard to breathe in the cave. The villagers would try to fill the basket as quickly as they could so they could get back into the fresh air. The giant always waited outside the cave when the people were getting salt. He knew how dangerous it was. If the people took too much salt from the bottom of the piles, they could cause a salt slide. They would be buried alive. He did not want anyone to get hurt while on his island. With their baskets filled with salt, the people would lift the heavy loads onto their heads and carry them back down the steep path to their small boats on the shore. It was hard work, and usually only the strongest and the fittest of the people were able to get the salt. The giant worried as he watched the people sail back to their island. The heavy loads of salt made their small boats sit so low in the water that they were in danger of sinking. <laughs>